to the channel. Today, we are going to be ranking 20 songs we have not heard yet. <laughs> I asked you guys on my Instagram what kind of videos you would like to see leading up to the release of Tortured Poets Department, and one of you guys said for me to rank all 20 songs from the Tortured Poets Department track list in order from what I think will be my favorite to what I think will be my least favorite. This is very dangerous because we have not heard all these songs. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to have this video documented to then come back after the Tortured Poets Department is out and I have listened to all the songs and have picked my favorite ones to see how it differs. I think it's gonna differ a lot, but I have picked my top three songs. I have picked the song that I'm gonna go into release week claiming. So we'll see if it actually ends up being my favorite song. Either way, I thought this would be super fun. If you are new, hi, my name is Alexis. I am 24 years old and I am a huge Taylor Swift fan. I also post daily Swifty content over on my other social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all of that will be linked down below and on the screen. But without further ado, let's go ahead and rank all 20 Tortured Poets Department songs. All right, let me get out my phone. I ranked all of them already a few days ago. And what I noticed when I started ranking these songs is the bottom half of this ranking is more of songs that I like see the track title and I don't know which way the song would go, which obviously we're not going to know until we hear some of these songs but I think that's the trend with some of my rankings is the ones that I'm like really excited for you can kind of gauge what kind of song it's gonna be but the ones at the bottom of my ranking are ones that like I have no idea what she could do here <laughs> so let's get in with my number 20 spot this is the song that I am ranking at the very very bottom I will probably regret this once I hear the song <laughs> because let's be honest no Taylor Swift song deserves to be at the bottom of a ranking <laughs> But number 20, we have the alchemy. Now, since we are not as smart as Taylor Swift, let's look up what alchemy means. What does alchemy mean? It's the chemical science which turns things into gold. Hmm, interesting. It can also be a magical process of transformation, creation, or combination. In quotes, finding the person who's right for you requires a very subtle alchemy. That's what Google says. So this is very interesting because obviously Taylor has related a lot of her past relationship things to gold, like in daylight, love isn't burning red, it's golden. So this might actually be like a heart wrencher. <laughs> it might actually break our hearts. Or what Google is saying is it might also be like a meaning of transformation. So... She could really go either way with this. This is at number 20 for me because I just can't picture which way she's gonna go, you know? I can't picture how she is going to sing the alchemy in a song, you know? I think that's like one of my favorite parts of like seeing a track list and then listening to the song Day Of is it's so exciting to hear how she sings some of these words in the songs <laughs> because some of them can be crazy. Like how she's gonna sing the black dog in a song, like I have no idea. <laughs> okay, going to number 20, we have Guilty as sin. Listen, I am reading this out loud and I'm kind of regretting putting it so low, but I just don't know where, I don't know where she would go. Like, what is she guilty of, you know? Like, what did she do or what did someone else do, you know? What did someone else do? So that one's low because once again, I don't know where she's gonna go with it. That's a trend for some of these bottom rankings, okay? It gets better. Number 18 is the manuscript. This one is very interesting to me and I'm very excited to see where this goes because obviously she has to have liked this song enough to put it on the Target variant, the regular CD as a bonus track. Like this was the first bonus track that we got. So she had to have liked it so much to put it on all of these variants. So I'm very, very curious on what this might be. It's also very interesting that she started getting into film work and writing manuscripts, writing the shots for music videos. I just find that really interesting that when, you know, the relationship was ending and things like that, like that's when she started getting into a lot of film work for her own music videos. So I'm really, really interested in what she talks about regarding a manuscript. Like, is it a manuscript for like a film script? Is it a manuscript like, you know, someone telling a story? Like I have no idea, but that is at number 18. Number 17 is The Black Dog. 
dog. Okay, this might be an unpopular opinion, but hearing like the black dog name it's not the most like like inviting name <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but like the black dog like how are you going to sing that in a song you know and also what does she mean what is the metaphor here i think once i hear the metaphor it's going to climb up my rankings girly loves a metaphor okay and i do too but that one is so low just because i am not a big fan of that like that name that like track title like oh my favorite song is the black dog like <laughs> i am so open to taylor swift proving me wrong because she will let me tell you something she will this might be the best song this might be my favorite song after my first listen and i am very excited to find out all right number 16 is i can fix him no really i can i'm surprised that this isn't towards the top of my ranking but there are just so many good ones i am so excited for this one i'm so excited i think this one is like such a good woman anthem i think so many people can relate to it i think that this song is going to be a lot of people's go-to i am so so excited to see what she talks about like what could you have fixed what were the problems you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm really really excited for that one number 15 is l-o-m-l -L. this one I have lots of theories on. This one I am very excited for, one. And two, my theory is it doesn't mean love of my life. That's just me, okay? Because Taylor Swift is chaotic, okay? She's chaos. I really believe that this acronym means something else. She's gonna make it mean something else. Obviously when we see LOML, we think love of my life, but what if it's like, loss of my life? Or I've seen other people say, loss of my lover, or like, loss of my love. like. This song is so dangerous and I don't think you guys understand. <laughs> so it is at number 15 for me. Number 14 is Down Bad. I am very interested to see if this is a love song or not. People have speculated that maybe it's a love song, maybe it's not, but with the argument of it might not be a love song, people have been saying like, Down Bad isn't really good, you know? Like if you're down bad for someone, you'll sacrifice anything, you know? So maybe it's more of like a negative connotation rather than like, oh, I'm so down bad, you know? But if it is a love song, would it be about a recent love? I don't know. Number 13, I have the Albatross. I am super excited for this one just because I love the like meaning of the Albatross. I did do some research once we found out that track name and an Albatross actually doesn't land on the ground when it's in flight for like up to six years, which could be a metaphor for something else, which I'm very, very curious to find out. There was something else about an albatross that was really, really interesting. I would also like to say that this photo is the funniest photo I've ever seen. <laughs> I just love when you look up the albatross, it's just like, you know, it's just, it's just there. It's just that, the bird. I also think the albatross is like a term that you use in golf. So, I don't know. Does she like playing golf? I don't know. <laughs> Number 12, we have Fortnite. I also regret this one too. This one might climb my little ladder just because I'm really, really excited for this one. I think her and Post Malone are going to, oh my gosh, do this so good. I am so excited to see what this is about, first of all, and how they harmonize. I think their harmonies are gonna be so, so good. Like both of them on a song, so good. I am so excited. Fortnite also means the span of two weeks which is very interesting this might be incorrect but i also heard around twitter that two weeks after the news broke um that they were no longer in a relationship the florida shows were on the eras tour so we also have a song called florida which we will get to but i don't know if that's related but it's very interesting i'm so excited for this song all right number 11 we have fresh out of the slammer i am so excited i think it's actually fresh out the slammer like not fresh out of the slammer so maybe it's a little bit more edgy without the of in there. <laughs> I'm excited for this one just because I, I think it's a serve. I think it's a serve. I think any woman coming out of a relationship and being like, I'm out of the slammer, slay, 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 slay. This song title is giving me like, I did something bad vibes and I, I'm so excited. Number 10 is the Tortured Poets Department. Listen, when she said this album title at the Grammys, I, you guys saw my reaction, okay? 
I love this album title. It might honestly be my favorite album title of them all. My Tay Nine, I love you very much. Don't take offense to that. But I just love this album title so much and the fact that it's a title track. Guys, I am so excited. Also, recently, something did come out where some fans spotted Scott Swift, Taylor's dad, at a restaurant and they were talking to him about the new album and Scott literally said that his favorite song from this album is Florida and the Tortured Poets Department. If Scott Swift, okay, likes a song, it's gonna be a banger, okay? I don't make the rules. So I am really, really excited to see how she characterizes this album. I think this song will really tell us like the full picture of the album. All right, number nine, we have The Bolter. This song is gonna be really interesting. I don't know what she means by like The Bolter. Like, are you meaning like someone bolting? Like, you know, like, I I'm gonna I'm a hop out, you know? Or is it like something else? I don't know, I don't know. This is the thing with Taylor Swift's metaphors is I don't know until she actually tells me, okay? I can guess, I can Easter egg, I can theorize, I literally don't know until this girl tells me. And the bolter is one of those things, but I am so, so hyped to see what this song is and I think it's gonna be a banger. The bolter, just album title, straightforward gives me like reputation vibes and I am so, so here for it. All right, next up at number eight, we have Clara Bow. This shirt is literally the cutest thing ever. I'll have it linked down below, but it's a picture of her and it says the Torture Poets Department in a little frame. It's so cute. But I am so excited for this song. This song is giving me very the lucky one vibes, very like nothing new maybe. If you don't know who Clara Bow is, you should definitely research her. She was a, I think 1920s silent film actress. I think it was the 1920s, but she was known as the very first like it girl. And I think that relates to Taylor so much, especially because Clara Bow at the like, I guess middle of her career, Career, height of her career she ended up really really going through it because of the media and stardom and having so many eyes on her and things like that which I think relate to Taylor a lot so I'm really really excited to see where Taylor takes this I also feel like this song is going to be like the last great American dynasty vibes like relating everything back to Taylor's life and how she relates to it I am just so stoked for this song so she is at number eight number seven we have who's afraid of little old me. Taylor, everyone, everyone is afraid of you. <laughs> because for me, I'm afraid of Miss Taylor Swift because she can do anything at any point in time and throw me for a loop, okay? All jokes aside, I think this song is going to be really, really good. I'm really excited to see where she takes it. So that's why it's so high on my ranking because I, I'm, I'm just really curious of like, is this like satire? Like, do you think people should be afraid of you. Why was someone saying that they were afraid of you, you know? Like, it's just so interesting. Like, I'm so excited to see where she goes with this kind of narrative. Number six, we have Florida with three exclamation points featuring Florence and the Machine. I am so, so excited. I love Florence and the Machine. Um, I used to listen to them a lot when I was in high school. I am just so, so happy that she decided to collaborate with them. And on this song, this song's gonna be tea, okay? This song's gonna be tea. What happened in Florida? What happened in Florida? While everything was circulating, she was still on the Eras tour, um, which goes into one of the other songs that is around the top of my rankings, but she really had, I don't know how she got on that stage every single day and did, did everything, um, especially with what she was going through at the time. So I really do think that this song will be more of, you know, when she, when she was performing in Florida on the Eras tour, like I couldn't imagine, I couldn't imagine. But the three exclamation points really drive it home that I think it is about somewhat of the Eras tour around that time because Florida with like exclamation points makes me think of like when she's on stage being like Florida 
like you know like that kind of thing so i am really really curious of where this song's gonna go so that is why it is so high on my rankings i am so stoked for this one all right we are getting into my top five tortured poets department songs that i think i am going to love when i hear it this is the danger zone okay at number five we have but daddy i love him I am so excited for this one. Okay, I'm so excited. This is this is another one that's gonna be a woman anthem. Okay, this is girlhood. I am so excited to see if like what uh, what was Scott's opinion? Okay, what is what was Scott telling you that like this man is trash and you not believing him? <laughs> like this is just such a cool like song title as well. Like everyone keeps relating it back to The Little Mermaid where Ariel is like defending the like statue of like Eric or whatever. And then King Triton's like about to destroy the statue and she's like, but daddy, I love him. Um, I am just so stoked. I'm, I, I need to listen to this song. Like some of these songs, I'm like, I need them now. How am I supposed to wait literally a month to hear these songs? Like that's illegal. That's literally illegal. So number five spot is reserved for, but daddy, I love him. It's going to be so embarrassing coming back to these rankings and like me completely like disregarding any of these like imagine like my top song isn't the song I claimed number four I have I can do it with a broken heart <laughs> I just know that this is about the Eros tour I just know it I just know it everyone else does too it's not a secret I once again going back to the my explanation for Florida like I don't know how this woman did it okay she's a badass like I wouldn't be able to get up there and sing all these songs right when I'm like going through it I wouldn't be able to do it I would burst into tears every single minute and I just want to hear her side of it like how how was she doing it how did she feel through all of it I just want to hear her side of it which is why it's so high on my rankings I'm really excited for this one I also know for a fact that everyone is going to be bawling their eyes out after listening to I Can Do It With Broken Heart. Calling it now. All right, we are getting into my top three songs of what songs I am going to love the most after hearing Tortured Poets Department. We'll see if any of these come true. At number three, we have, I love this one. My boy only breaks his favorite toys. Trash, 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 trash. Uh when I read this, okay, when I when the track list came out and I read the song, I was like, there is no way. There is no freaking way. Trash, all I gotta say, trash, throw them away. The fact that she wrote a song about this, okay, is a serve, a serve. This is giving reputation. This is giving, I don't care about you anymore. You only break your favorite toys and I'm out. Part of me thinks that this song is gonna be really upbeat and it is like, uh, like telling you off, like you only break your favorite toys. But then what if it's like a sad song? <laughs> what if it's like a ballad of like, he only broke his favorite toy, you know, like, that is gonna be so heartbreaking. So either way, I'm very excited for that song. Now my top two, okay? I just know that these are going to be my favorite. And I just know, I haven't listened to the songs, I haven't heard a single thing. I just read the track titles and my heart knows. Okay, my heart knows. Brief interlude, I would like to tell a story because remember when Taylor was doing her Midnight's Mayhem with me and she was releasing track titles from Midnight's like day by day? I remember hearing the track title for Question and I immediately knew, and in the video, in my TikTok reaction, I said, I'm claiming this song, this song is mine. And then turns out when the song freaking came out, she sampled Out of the Woods off of my favorite Taylor Swift album, and then it ended up being my favorite song off the entire album. And somehow, my heart just knows, okay? So same with these top two songs, my heart just knows, okay? At my number two slot for my rankings is So Long London. <laughs> I think if you ask any Swifty at this point, they're going to say that their most anticipated song is track five, which is So Long London. I am so excited and also scared and also terrified of listening to this song, okay? <laughs> One, it's a track five. Two, we have no idea how long these songs are yet. However, there was something on Twitter a few days ago with the um, lengths of each song. And I don't think it's true because this would mean that the vinyls would have to be, there, there would have to be more LPs in the vinyl if these songs were as long as they were saying they were. But in that post, once again, I don't know if it's true. It said that So Long London was like nine minutes long. Excuse me? Um, if that is true, 
we're in danger. So I am very excited for this one and I am putting it as my top two because I feel like it's going to be an all too well. I think it's going to be an all too well. Number one, we have reached the end of my ranking to what my number one slot is going to be. What song I am claiming going into release day. Listen, I've had a good track record of claiming songs and then them end up being my all time favorite song off the album. So I am claiming the smallest man who ever lived. <laughs> the smallest man who ever lived. The smallest man who ever lived. That is, that is freaking hilarious. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Taylor Swift calling any man small so funny, so funny. Comedian, actually. Give this woman a comedy show on Netflix, okay? Because this is so funny. I am so excited for this song, regardless, okay? This song is for my 17 year old self. This song is for my high school self. I don't even know what she's gonna say in the song, but it's for her. It's for her. When I listen to the song, when someone pl presses play at my listening party and start and I start hearing the song, I will turn into my high school self and I will be as petty as humanly possible. And I am so, so excited. And that will conclude my ranking of the entire Tortured Poets Department track list before we even listen to it on April 19th. Please let me know down below in the comments what your ranking is or maybe what your top five songs are or three songs because I am so interested to see what songs everyone else is really excited for. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and once again, I will be posting a lot of Swifty content over on my Instagram and TikTok, so if you want to follow those, those will be on the screen and down below. But I am so, so excited for Tortured Poets Department. We are less than a month away. Also, please let me know if you have any video requests for this lead up to Tortured Poets Department. I would love to do some of your guys' ideas. I am also hoping to to vlog my release weekend festivities. So hopefully that pans out and I end up getting a vlog for you guys during that time because I think that would be really fun and I love watching those videos. So hopefully I will get around to it and film the release weekend of Tortured Poets Department. But I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have the best day ever and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.